The Turkish Navy's Istanbul Naval Shipyard has recently unveiled new details about their future indigenous aircraft carrier. Just a year ago, the nation, seeking to become a worldwide carrier powerhouse, took a significant step towards bolstering its carrier capabilities by commissioning the multi-purpose amphibious assault ship known as TCG Anadolu. This vessel is reportedly the world's first ship of its kind on which UAVs can land and take off. Building upon this achievement, Turkey is now embarking on an even more ambitious amphibious endeavor, the development of its domestically manufactured aircraft carrier. So, in this video, we're exploring everything we know about Turkey's future aircraft carrier. Let's dive right in. Back in February, the Turkish president visited the design project office at the Istanbul Naval Shipyard, where the Turkish Navy's indigenous aircraft carrier project was revealed. This visit cleared up previous confusion within defense media circles, distinguishing the project from the second amphibious assault ship project. Photographs from the event provided glimpses of the carrier's features. Just two months since, the commander of the Istanbul Naval Shipyard hosted domestic and international journalists to provide them the latest updates on several significant naval projects. But the primary focus of the event was undoubtedly the future aircraft carrier project. The aircraft carrier's design and construction were confirmed to be entirely domestic, showcasing Turkey's growing self-reliance in the defense industry. The carrier is planned to feature three runways, with two designated for takeoff and one for landing. Initially, there will be no onboard catapult system. Instead, a modular ramp will be utilized. However, Turkish engineers aim to develop an indigenous catapult system in the long term, eventually replacing the modular ramp. The initial deployment plan outlines 50 aircraft, with 20 stationed on the deck and 30 housed in the hangar. Among these aircraft are the naval version of the Herjet light attack aircraft, Anka Unmanned Jet Fighter, the Bayraktar Kizilelma Unmanned Jet Fighter, and, of course, the TB-3 Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. Turkish defense officials have indicated potential increases in the number of aircraft as the project progresses. We also know more about the carrier's armament capabilities. The carrier will be armed with a 32-cell midless vertical launching system and four close-in weapon systems for self-defense. The carrier's technical specifications that were already unveiled in February remain unchanged for now. It will maintain a length of 285 meters and a displacement of 60,000 tons, which means it will have more than twice the displacement of the TCG Anadolu, currently the largest warship in Turkish Navy inventory. In terms of propulsion, the carrier will be equipped with combined gas turbine and gas turbine system, ensuring a maximum speed of 25 knots. However, these are, of course, preliminary designs, and with a project of this size, designs often evolve based on requirements and technological advancements. While no specific timetable has been announced for the aircraft carrier's development, some already advocate for prioritizing other defense projects. However, reports suggest that this project will move forward. It is also important to consider recent improvements in Turkish-American relations, which have paved the way for the delivery of F-16 Viper fighters to Turkey. This improvement in relations raises the possibility of Turkey's reinstatement in the F-35 program. If this trend continues, it could offer valuable options for Turkey's aircraft carrier's air complement in the future. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.